place that actually we saw seven years ago, the FIFA Basketball World Cup, where Kevin Durant took the world by storm. And uh, tonight, it's all about Goran Dragic and Luka Doncic in Slovenia taking on the Gasol brothers in Spain. Well, this tournament started, uh, seems like uh, an eternity to go. This, we had 24 teams, and now we're down to four. And the Slovenians, how many people expected this team to make it to the last four? What a story they have been. And a lot more Slovenians in the house tonight, not surprisingly. And also a lot more Spaniards tonight as they get closer to the title. And uh, certainly what we know is that even the loser of this game will still have a chance to reach the podium because they'll play in the third place game. They will play uh, the loser of the other semifinal between Russia and Serbia. So I'm Jeff Taylor joined by Josh Davis. And uh, Josh, we'll get your thoughts in just a second here as uh, we get ready for the, for the player introductions. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Istanbul, Turkey. It's FIBA Eurobasket 2017, and it's the semi-final between Slovenia and Spain. And uh, as the Slovenians are introduced, uh, Josh Davis, uh, give us some thoughts about this team and about this moment uh, in the tournament. Well, obviously, they've been playing some tremendous basketball, very exciting, high-octane scoring 103 points in the quarterfinal win against Latvia, doing it all kinds of ways, inside and out. Randolph really stepped up, obviously had a, a bit of an issue at the end of the game there, but Dragic and Doncic will really carry these guys as far as they can go. Okay, well, uh, a lot of these uh, Slovenian players uh, making a, a, a huge mark on the tournament. You, you mentioned Luka Doncic is actually coming into this game has the most rebounds of all the players still alive in the tournament. Uh, so this kind of illustrates how complete of a player he is. Yeah, obviously a shooting guard of that stat is absolutely incredible. And he's also got 17 threes. What you know about Spain, Spain, of course, Cal Gasol is the first one out. He's been the uh, MVP of the PB Eurobasket twice. He's been the MVP of the 2006 FIBA Basketball World Cup. And uh, really the, the player who kind of stole everyone's attention last time was Marc Gasol. Yeah, he had 28 points in that big win against Germany, especially when Spain seemed to be struggling a little bit. He had 13 or 15 points in that third quarter alone, and four threes did Marc Gasol. And obviously we know him as one of the strongest inside players, so they'll be relying on him yet again. So Spain certainly accustomed to this position. And uh, Slovenia, they made it to the semifinals back in 2009. We're gonna have a pause in the commentary now for the national anthems of both Slovenia and Spain.
球。National anthems have been played. The players, coaches greet each other, and uh, we'll get a look at the referees: Cristiano Ronaldo of Brazil, Olga Sahin of Italy, and Johan Rosso of France. They will, uh, there they are, standing behind the basketball. Something you mentioned: game ball. You see Anthony Randolph there. He calls the spur the other night. Great, great player, great performance, but got a little testy at the end. Cristiano Ronaldo there, Brazil in the middle, and Jorge uh, Sahin on the left, Italy, Rosso on the right. And guess what, Josh? Now is the time that I pitch it to you. Thank you, sir. And starting off with the Slovenian squad, we'll get to talk about Dragic and Doncic, the clear stars of this team. But it's time to highlight for Pelic. All right, he went 12 for 12 from the free throw line in the game against Lavia, and also Gaspar Vidmar had four huge blocks before fouling out, and he's the big man starting inside along the, alongside Anthony Randolph, and of course Luka Doncic and Goran Dragic in the backcourt, and Blazic or Blazic is going to be in there as well in the starting five. Meanwhile, for Spain, you see the big man there, Paul Gasol, Euro basket legend, its all-time leading scorer. He's got a lot of help and a lot of experience. You recognize the names Ricky Rubio, Marcus Saul, Willie Hernan Gomez from the NBA, but also Juan Sastre had a very, very big game uh, guarding Dennis Schroeder. Also hit two big threes to kind of push out that Spanish lead in the second half. So look out for him. But Spain, the starting five, Juan Carlos Navarro, who hasn't really done too, too much, but his veteran leadership obviously can always be counted on. Ricky Rubio. Santa Materio, and then the Gasol brothers inside just patrolling the paint as they always do. Yeah, Juan Carlos Navarro, you never know. I mean, he could always erupt and have a big game, a soothing presence. But Sergio Rodriguez on the left and Luka Doncic on the right, of course, know each other from the Real Madrid days. Doncic uh, still at Real, Sergio going to Cesca after playing for Philadelphia this past season. Rodriguez averaging 12.3 points over the last four games and leads Spain assists at seven per game. And you saw the numbers for Doncic as well. Uh, Igor Kokoskov, who once coached Georgia, now at the helm uh, for the second summer of Slovenia. And I would guess uh, being unbeaten with this team uh, suggests that they're glad that he's in charge. And you'll see Sergio Scariolo as well. There he is, and probably uh, the perfect coach for this team. Uh, seems to pull all the right strings. Uh, he's, you know, drives the, uh, the, the Porsche, I think, no, the Ferrari. That's right. In 2009, he said, thanks for handing me the keys to the Ferrari. And also, it comes to the defense of his players whenever he needs to. Obviously, mentioning after the last game that Paul and Marcus saw weren't getting enough respect in terms of foul calls, especially when opponents kind of dictate their game plan around the fact that they need to be physical with the Gasols. So you'd expect the referees to kind of notice that and we'll see if there's any difference in their play tonight. And again, this is the, the battle of the unbeatens. The only two teams so far that haven't lost a game. After tonight, obviously that would no longer be the case. A lot of people think the win of this game could go obviously on to win the gold medal. And I'm sure that uh, Russia and Serbia have something to say about that. Good evening, basketball world. This is the start of Slovenia and Spain here at FIBA Eurobasket 2017, the first semifinal. Spain in white, winning the opening tip here. And uh, Slovenia in the dark jerseys. So Fernando Sanabaterio bounced past to Marcus Saul and starts right where he picked off in the quarterfinal. Yeah, nice strong finish on the opposite side there from Marcus Saul. See Santa Material making the right read of that play. Dr. Blazic uh, getting the start tonight. Jasper Vidmar setting the high pick. Dragic, a little bit of pressure for him. 
And Mark Gasol goes up for the rebound. Fernando Santa Materio, one of the uh, Valencians in the team that won the Spanish title recently. Here he is. And his attempt off the back of the iron. Randolph, of course, uh, at Real Madrid. And drills the three pointer. And it seems like the last couple of games he's knocked down his first shot and it's propelled him to really strong outputs in terms of scoring. At 21, two games ago against Ukraine, at 16 against Latvia. So Rubio's got it in his hands. And back out to Powell. And Powell off the iron. Not afraid to take the long jumper. A lot of Slovenian fans coming into town today. Flights leaving from Ljubljana. And uh, long jump shot from Doncic, no good. Of course, a lot of Slovenians could fly from Zagreb and Croatia, and also they could come from Austria. Didn't realize you were a geography major. Well, I studied uh, tourism, yes. No, not really. And Gaspar uh, Vidmar collects the rebound. He's going to be a huge key tonight, matching up against Powell and Mark inside. Anthony Randolph, more of a perimeter guy, though obviously he can give you good protection. Dragic. And Dragic has... Uh, Loses the ball, and then Marcus Saul is fouled by Dragic. So he loses it, tries to get it back, and ends up tripping up Marcus Saul. Yeah, great hustle by Dragic, and obviously, all Slovenian fans hold their breath when he hits the ground. Yeah, after he picked up a knock on the head the other day, an elbow. Yeah, we talked to him after the game. He said he felt all right, had a little bit of a headache. Yeah, Davis Bertans uh, caught him with his. You think it was an elbow right in the side of the head? Navarro and his first uh, attempt is off. So Spain uh, starting cold from the field. Now Doncic has become quite possibly the biggest talking point of this Eurobasket over to Jakob Blazic. Good! And he's fired up tonight. Look at Yaka. And he'll know all these Spanish players, having uh, been playing for Basconia in Spain. Rubio steps inside the arc. It's good. It's a good shot there for Rubio. Only had two points against Germany. Wasn't able to find his shot, but nice little pump fake and pull up there. Dragic on the baseline. Rubio will be playing for Utah this coming season and takes uh, the contact. A little bit of a late whistle. And Blazic says, okay, I may have fouled him, but you waited a couple extra seconds before you blew the whistle. Look at this. Yeah, he almost thought he got away with it. You see the hand in the chest. Rubio feels the contact and throws the ball up. So Rubio coming out and uh, now leading uh, Spain in scoring. He surprised us. Uh, Ufu Saricha was really complimentary after the Turkey game of Rubio, saying it was the the one aspect of his game, his jump shot, that's always been suspect. And the fact that he's gone out and really worked hard uh, really set an example for everybody because he has shot it pretty well. Well, in one of the most kind of revealing stats of the tournament, he actually leads it in free throw shooting at 95% coming in, so that shot is definitely looking better. Dragic hits the three. So Slovenia right now doing all their damage from outside the arc. And obviously with the Gasol Twin Towers in there, you understand why. Here's Navarro now. And couldn't quite get it, but Gasol knocks it back out on the perimeter. So Spain, ice cold from deep. Gasol open again and still can't make it. And again, 
Rubio bats it off of, I think, Dragic's hands, then it goes off of Randolph's hands and out of bounds. So it'll be Spain ball. We've seen it throughout the tournament in all basketball games, really. If you give a team too many chances, they're going to capitalize. Slovenia really hopes Spain doesn't get a basket here after giving them a third opportunity. And Rubio pulls up right at the top of the key. Goodness gracious. Rubio ultra aggressive in this first quarter. Bounce pass. Fitmar goes up for the two-handed jam. Yeah, we saw him just taking it hard to the rack. That last game and a nice strong dunk from Zidmar. Another assist for Doncic. And now Gasper Vidmar steps in front, knocks the pass away. Randolph has it. Promising start for the Slovenians. Doncic pulls up. And Gets the rebound, gets it back, puts it up, and scores. They must be very excited. Yeah, the, the one thing that we've kind of noticed in these, this tournament is not just his skill, but his tenacity. You know, the fact that he's able to compete for rebounds at the guard spot. Rubio. A little bit long that time, Mr. Rubio. Dragic on the baseline. Rubio hustles, gets it inbounds to, to Blazic, and Navarro knocks it out of his hands and picks up the personal. So good contribution from Blazic. Propelic is going to come in, as, as well as uh, number six, Alexei Nikolic. There's a, a replay. Remember, Propelic did a, a great job against Latvia, getting to the rim, drawing fouls. Here's Doncic, pulls up, and wanting to uh, perhaps live up to his star billing here. Now, Vidmar and Nikolic in the open floor over to Randolph. And from mid range, Gasol flies in for the rebound. Mark Gasol. Pass to Mark, uh, Pal Gasol, and finally another layup for Spain. How long have those two been connecting on two-man games, huh? Back uh, to the late 1990s in their junior days. Although I think Pal's probably had a meteoric rise since. Here's Nikolic. It's good. Three-pointer. See Doncic able to break down the defense. Taking it to the opposite corner. Nikolic with Slovenia's fourth three in the first quarter already. Rubio fouled up high by Nikolic. So Sergio Rodriguez is in the game now. Sastre checks in the game. Joan Sastre, uh, again, one of the Valencians who really kind of uh, rose to prominence this season. And look at Anthony Randolph reading the pass. Coming up with a steal. Almost throws it away, but able to save possession. Nikolic. Gets inside, and there's a Vidmar. Fouled from behind by Mark Gasol. And Vidmar continues his tenacious play, especially on the boards. Maybe got away with a foul there on, on Powell. Yeah, kind of nudged kinda him hit. out of the way with his left arm. Yeah, kind of beasted him out of the way. 
Fernando Santa Materio out. Wancho Aaron Gomez in. The younger of the two uh, Aaron Gomez's. Vidmar does struggle the line. Yep. Coming in just at 52%. Went one for four against Latvia. Didn't cost him in the end. Yeah, he struggled this season uh, with Banvit in the Basketball Champions League. You don't have him out there for his free throw shooting. But he helps you in a lot of other ways. Slovenia now putting a little bit of backcourt pressure on Spain. Sestri gets it inside to Marc Gasol. He goes to work against Randolph. Short little jump hook, and his brother Powell is there for the tap-in. And it looks like Vidmar may have uh, injured his ankle. Yeah, two Slovenians going down there as they crash the glass, crash into each other. Not sure what part of his anatomy is uh, not feeling very good right now. We see there, yeah, just Vidmar and Doncic. As Paul Gasol gets his fingertips on it. Great shot. With all those Slovenian fans behind the basket. So hopefully Vidmar is okay. Spain now inside the arc, 5 of 7. Slovenia 2 of 9. Spain 0 for 6, though, from three-point range. Randolph Eggs takes off, hands it off to Vidmar, and gets blocked. And Powell having a little block party. Have you received your invitation? Pagasol, though, at 37 years of age, again, showing you the ability to just go straight up and contest at the rim. He had a huge block against Lavia, and there's another one. Just fundamentally, both arms straight up, almost waiting for the offensive guy to shoot it into his hand rather than go out and blocking it. So Pal goes out, and Oriola checks into the game. There he is, right on the screen. And then coming in for Valencia, excuse me, for uh, Slovenia, Zagrac. Zagrac is uh, number 17. There he is taking his first jumper as well, and he hits it. So unexpected uh, source, of, source of offense for Slovenia right off the bench. Yeah, both Nikolic and Zagrac haven't been really in the rotation the last couple of games, but getting a nice first quarter look here. And Marcus Hall drives, puts it up and in. Boy. He's taking his game to his normal Mark Gasol level the last couple of games offensively. Yeah, the groove phase is kind of, don't want to say coasted, but probably didn't go into fifth gear very much. But these last couple of games, he's been putting in the work. You saw that defense from Vidmar. I mean, he, he was raking him across the arms, and then he, he also got a, a big smack in the, in the face from Gasol's head. And he completes the three-point play. Five points and five rebounds already for Gasol. Remember, he used to be a little bit overweight, but has done so much work on his body over the last few years. Pepez for three. It's good. He is money in the bank. You can't leave him open, and that was Juancho Aaron Gomez's mistake. Slovenia now, can they keep up this torrent pace? And, oh, Rodriguez, nobody picks him up. Just kind of juked his way and said, I'll just take it all the way. Well, you always expect him to kind of look to pass. And that time they gave him a clear path to the basket. Here's Papel. It's probably the one player, more than anybody else in this Slovenia team, that Scariolo said, when he's on the court, you need to get in his way. You need to get a hand in the face. Excellent shooter. And you would say the same about Sastre for Spain. And Rodriguez and Doncic not able to... Uh, bring it in he's complaining that he was pounded on the rebound Dodgers kind of sold it a little bit 
Trying to draw the foul on Marcus Saul. You see the contact on the arms. I mean, there's contact, but he's kind of diving for the ball. Exactly. Chanchar comes into the game. And Doncic goes out. Slow start for him. I mean, it's almost impossible to live to live up to the hype that's surrounding him, you would think. Oriola cake takes the inbounds pass and scores. I mean, this guy's got enormous potential, Oriola. Yeah, great execution from Spain on that inbounds play. Getting another layup, uncontested, really. Moves around and... Nice physique, is very quick. Vidmar knocked it off, tried to knock it away. Called for goal, goal interference. William and Gomez now comes into the game. And Gordon Dragic is back in at point for Slovenia. And pulls up and draws oh! the foul. It's going to be a four-point play. Opportunity. Goran Unbelievable. Dragic. One of the plays of the game. One of the plays of the tournament, in fact. Well, just having the awareness to stop in transition. He knew that Spain were chasing him. And if he could pull up while attempting the shot, he was going to get the foul. Sastre right behind him. The technique. Obviously, he was dead on center as he came down the court. The bank is open. Wow. I mean, that is just smart. I think he planned that when he's on the bench, just but he misses a four-point play opportunity. So back up to a six-point lead, and Spain, uh, Willie Aaron Gomez hits the backboard. So at the end of one, uh, a strike from the Dragon. Goran Dragic takes Slovenia's lead to 25-19. So the Spanish uh, shooters right now are cold as ice and Slovenia are red hot. And again, I don't know what's kind of more worrisome if you're a Spanish fan or Slovenian fan. The fact that Slovenia is on fire or the fact that you're not scoring from the outside, yet you're right in the game. And I don't think Slovenia can keep up that shooting percentage. But obviously missing two free throws, that's a little bit abnormal for Slovenia, especially for Dragic. The presence of Gasol brothers causing a lot of trouble around the around the rim. So you you bring in uh, you had the great start by Rubio, by the way. You bring in Dragic right at the end. You know you've only got a s several seconds to get up the floor. He sprints up the floor really quickly, like he's going to go right to the basket. Sastre is right on his tail, and uh, Dragic knows he's right there and just kind of stops and uh, make sure there's contact as he goes up and makes the three. So he's going to get at least three free throws. Yeah, very, very smart play. And that's why Dragic, a lot of people have him as the MVP so far in the tournament. And those kind of plays illustrate why. But I don't know, this kind of pace, 25 points for Slovenia. Obviously, Spain comes in as the number one defensive team, allowing just around 60 points per game. So Slovenia has to be happy with that first quarter. Yeah, Spain can't be happy with their defense. <laughs> Anytime you give up 25 points in a quarter. Second quarter action underway. And Sastre reaches in, takes it away. And now Spain looks to come right back. Rodriguez goes between the legs. And then uh, good defense from Slovenia, knocking it away. Four John Charles, they've got number. And oh, the left-handed Jamaroo. So Back-to-back turnovers. The Slovenia is able to capitalize. Rodriguez pulls up for three and nails it. Boy, he is 
He's been shooting very, it well. Very, very good for Dallas. Came in shooting 47% from three-point range. And I tell you what, this guy right here, Sastre, really impressive defensively. Yeah, he is. All over the floor, has a little bit of a height, the length, but also the quickness to stay with the lead guards from Slovenia. Propelic gets a little bit of daylight and knocks it in. He just uh, is a player that you simply have to have a hand in the face. Aaron Gomez puts up a three, rattles out. And Rodriguez commits the foul. Propelic first for Spain here in the quarter. Koskov is the uh, is an assistant to Quinn Snyder in the NBA with Utah Jazz. So he will be working with Rubio this season. Ricky Rubio now on the bench for Spain. And Sastre may have gotten away with a foul there on Dragic. Dragic passes to the court corner. And Anthony Randolph gets it back to Dragic, puts it up, and can't get it to fall. Wancho with the rebound over to Chacho, and he's fouled by Propelic. Yeah, the last play not exactly going the way Slovenia drew up. But almost still able to knock it down. See the foul there in transition. And Chanchar, again, one of those X factors for Slovenia. What can he give them? So talented. Very quiet throughout the tournament. Oh, quick pass inside. Wancho goes up, gets blocked. Sastre open, good. Nice He's got some skill. You see the side dribble to escape the defense under control. And now Spain starting to heat up a little bit from beyond the arc. Two in the first couple of minutes. That's right, they couldn't, uh, couldn't buy it in the first quarter. Couldn't buy one, but here they are. And Sastre is... Uh, about as good as they come shooting from the arc. Came in shooting 50% from three. So he and Rodriguez have the two. Of course, uh, Slovenia, much better. And the question is, can they keep it up? And will Spain allow them to get those open looks? Again, we have to talk about Spain's depth. So many players that can do so many things for you. We haven't called on Willie Hernan Gomez's name much, but he averages close to double figures and seven rebounds a game in limited minutes. Obviously, was a came on in that second half of the season last year for the New York Knicks. Him and Porzingis expected to be the front court of the future in New York. Dragic saying this is his last time with the national team. Here's uh, Randolph missing and no chance for Spain. Remember, Spain. Uh, Fell behind Germany as well, 11 to two. Battled back to, to win it. That was their quarterfinal. And Gomez goes to work on the low block, turns and takes the foul. He gets two shots. A crafty move there from Hernan Gomez. He took the contact initially, shoulder will fake, and then right there, kind of the right knee in the lower body. Not much, not too, too much contact, but enough for Hank Gomez to kind of jerk his way to the free throw line. So Willie and Gomez makes the first and the second. 
Spain's is not one of those teams that you ever expect to panic, no matter what, how much they're down. Young guys can turn to the older guys for that kind of composure. Dragic looked like he was going up and gets it over to Propelic. And his shot is good. He doesn't miss often, folks, trust me. He's got eight points. Chacho gets it to Aaron Gomez and lays it up and in. Dragon shakes and bakes, gets it in, has the ball stolen. And Propellers with the foul. And uh, that's his second. Gomez almost traveling, but able to get a two-step down. Gomez goes out, and Vidmar is coming back in for Kokoskov. This team is uh, it's been on top in this game, but uh, Spain inching closer. Slovenia has been up by Spini's eight points. Alcasol back in, hands it off to Rodriguez. Sprays it out to Sastre. Doncic was running at him, so Sastre tries to pass to Wancho. And Doncic chases it. Falls into uh, some Slovenian dignitaries. Look at this. Yeah, thought about that for it. Friendly territory there. Oop. Coming to a rail cam near you. So timeout on the court. And Slovenia on top, 32-29. So that, that would be worrying, obviously, for Slovenia. Yeah, I mean, the Gasol brothers can just wear you down, but then you also got Hernan Gomez in there. And you haven't seen Juan show go inside yet, but they have so many ways they can beat you. And, of course, if Rodriguez and Rubio and Navarro and Sastre start hitting the outside shot, that's why they're so dangerous. And this worries you if you continue to uh, leave the likes of Propelic open uh, because he's not going to miss. Ever been to uh, Slovenia, Josh? Have not actually. You've never heard, been to Slovenia. I've heard great things. I've heard great. I've been to Spain. And obviously I'm in Istanbul now and I get to watch the Slovenians play, which is a, a treat I've you been waiting closer. for for a long time. It well, is. on your way home, maybe you can stop by Slovenia. Well, I'll go talk to some of these fans you see in the background there. They hosted the Eurobasket in 2013. That was, um, I can't believe you didn't go. I did not go. Spain did not win that one. Obviously Spain winning in 2015, 2011, and 2009. So I'm looking at a repeat here as Juancho, oh, somehow catches the lob. And Doncic tried to recover. He did recover just at the end to put Juancho off. Just as he was attempting the shot. Doncic, uh, about a meter behind the arc. Hello. Welcome, Luka Doncic, to the game. His first three. Will it be the first of many? He had four against Latvia. And Rodriguez, uh, boy, he's so good. You don't want to think about taking him out of the game. Yeah, they're just a different team when he's out there. Even with Rubio's star quality. I think it just has the motor going for Spain. Propelic with a little runner. Oh, he did miss one. Stop the press. Now three on three break. Rubio gets it to Wancho and again gets the layup. No sign of panic over on the Slovenia bench. Dragic says, I'm pretty close, I'll just take this. He plays with such control, doesn't he? It's exactly the word I was gonna use. Just gets below the free throw line and just takes a few dribbles, no one comes up. Eight points for him. Spain getting a lot of joy with their penetration. Now it's gonna be the low post move of Gasol. And then the follow, and now they're playing volleyball in there. And watch around Gomez. 
So a couple of twin towers going to work on Slovenia. Doncic visibly frustrated with Slovenia's inability to grab the defensive rebound. Doncic fouled. And second on second on Erna Gomez and second on Spain in the corner. So Willie Erna Gomez goes out. Marcus all back in with Fernando San Materio. And so both Erna Gomez's go out. So part of the dilemma that you have if you're Scariolo is when do you take Erna Gomez out? Because uh, and I'm speaking mainly of Willie because he was playing well. Look at that. Second chance points, 11 for Spain, 5 for Slovenia. But when you got Marcus Hall on the bench, you can't have him there either. Yeah, it's, it's a tough one. Obviously, you have three, like, three mere big men and two Gasols and Willie. But if I'm Slovenia, I'd rather see Santa Materia out there than Poncho. Poncho and Gomez can hurt you in so many ways. Doncic, another jumper, banks it in. And with his little grimace, I'm not sure he was attempting the bank shot, but he'll take it. He'll well, take remember, that deposit. Uh, he hit one from around 35 feet near half court the other night off the glass. Pau takes the contact from Vidmar. Two on Gasper Vidmar. Doncic. Bench well, loves it. They'll take it any way they can get it. The points are the points. Dimitz comes back in. Zagadets. Played well in limited action. And so Vidmar is going to stay out there with the uh, two fouls. Randolph goes out. One of two. So five points, three rebounds for Pau Gasol. Doncic for three. And now Rubio gets the long rebound, avoids the foul, gets it to Pau, and there you have it. You Look at Pau run the floor. How fast Pau Gasol just got down the floor. I don't want to say it, but it looked like Paul Gazelle out there. I mean, wow. He was. He was unbelievable. Paul Gazelle. No, That's I a good one. To. I had to. I don't think anyone's ever said that. <laughs> I'm, I'm claiming the rights to that one. 37 years old, running down the floor in transition, beating the entire Slovenian team down the court. Unacceptable, really, for Slovenia. You got to like this if you're Spain. Crashing the boards. Second chance points. Pau Gasol, what has he meant to uh, to this uh, Spanish national team over the years? You can see he's meant a lot tonight with uh, the 11 of 17 in the paint for Spain. But, I mean, you go back a long way with Pau Gasol in Spain. It's, I can't remember when he didn't play for him. Well, even the last Euro Basket 2015, which they won, you know, he averaged 25 points a game yeah. two years ago for them. So it's, it's, a, it's a different Pau Gasol in his Spanish jersey. You see him there running down the floor. No. Wow. Vidmar, not even close. And he wants uh, to keep the good times rolling. He just loves putting on the national team shirt. That's all you can say because at his age, the number of times he's done it, you think maybe it's time. I mean, look at Dragic. I mean, Dragic, 31, it's time to – switch gears and you respect him for that because he's been in that that program for a long time plays a lot of NBA games during the year and Powell just loves being with these guys all the time yeah, Dragic did mention that a oh, beautiful play from Propelic you see that but Dragic mentioned that the reason for he, his retirement was mainly because this next generation needs their own time to grow and he feels very comfortable handing over the reins to doesn't them. want to impede them doesn't want to get in their way, he said. Gasol on the baseline. Now on the open floor, Doncic, where he's dangerous. 
And he is fouled by Rubio. So both teams now with the bonus. So a lot of ball there. Rubio does have something to click his hands. again. This time the hands uh, knock away his pass and quickly to Rodriguez in transition out to Rubio. Wide open. And off the rim and that triggers the break for Slovenia. Doncic. Zagrac in the corner. Good! Well more and more you're starting to think this Slovenia team has what it takes to take this game late. Maybe this will be their game in the end. Well they have led all the way through this first half. Obviously a three-point shot, such a weapon for them. And offensive foul called on Mark Gasol. That's two now on Mark Gasol. Kind of used the ball to bully his way through. See there, chesting him up wall to wall. That's a, I mean, it's a, Questionable, perhaps. At best, you'd call it 50 50 <laughs> for Slovenia. Yeah, smart defense, though. Yeah, I think you that's what you would you say. Hear smart coach defense. Say, crowd him in the post, crowd him in the post. So, six turnovers for Spain now. It's denial by Rubio. Nice they pass. inside, and Vidmar goes up for the two handed rim rocker. All this happening with Dragic on the bench. And now a nine-point lead, their biggest of the game. Just when Pau Gasol is streaking on the break. Now he gets it in the low post. He turns, he goes up, and he's fouled by Vidmar. That's number three. And you can see Gals Pau saying, vamos, let's go. So three fouls for Vidmar. And that's going to bring back into the game Dimitz. So Dimitz, big ask for him. 117 to go in the first half. Do you uh, think Spain's uh, confidence has been shaken at all here tonight? Not at all. Again, they understand it's a 40-minute game. Slovenia wins the first 20 minutes, so be it. They're never going to stop coming at them. And again, great defense from Spain. Wow. Rubio with the interception. Great play by Ricky Rubio. And Materio whips it into the corner to Sastre. And now it's Gasol. Mark Gasol over to his brother Powell. It's good. Gasol connection. He's got 12 points now already. Say, as good as the game was with Slovenia and Lavia, this one is uh, shaping up just to be just as good. Maybe not quite as many uh, high flying slams, but this is being played at a high level. Doncic gets it to Dimitz. Nice answer. You see Doncic's stat line, eight points, five rebounds, five assists. So Spain will try to hold it for one. And Zagorac picks up the foul, guarding Gasol, so free throws, and I guess the good news for Slovenia is they'll still have enough time to uh, push the ball up the court if Gasol makes both. See the great pass by Doncic. Again, 6'7", 2 meters, 1 centimeter. But his ability to see over defenses and make the right decision to pick and roll is another reason why pretty much anyone into basketball is just so impressed with this game.
That was Mr. Gasol. And both free throws good. He comes out of the game. Oriola back in. Boy picking up the foul. Oh, Dragic. Final seconds ticking off the clock. Over to Zagarets for three, and misses everything. So all things considered for Spain, only down four. But the Slovenian team looks pretty confident. Yeah, it's a lot more points that Spain is accustomed to allowing in a half. 49-45, Slovenia on top at halftime. Talk about these numbers, the three-point shooting for Slovenia. That's uh, that's like what you would perhaps expect to see 10 made three-pointers for a game. Right. I mean, they had six in the first quarter and then kept it up with four in the second. Those eight offensive rebounds for Spain, though, really helped them kind of stay in the game. You see both teams getting a lot of steals, five for Spain, four for Slovenia. And it's led to some easy opportunities on each side. Can you see any adjustments that need to be made in the second half uh, for Spain? Yeah, I think Spain really wants to slow this game down. Obviously, they come in averaging you know, close to 90 points per game, but against the Slovenia team that love to go up and down, that's a dangerous game to play. And when you have the Gasol brothers, the half-court game kind of makes a lot of sense. So we're at the break. It's Slovenia here in the semifinal against Spain, leading 49-45. We'll be right back.
Well, the Slovenians, the Slovenians who made that long trip today. Well, it's not really that long. It's about an hour or so in the air, hour and a half. They're glad they did. They have been treated already to a barn burner. And their team's on top 49-45 over Spain. And, uh, you know, when you shoot 10 to 15 from three-point range and you get up and down the floor quickly as they have and you, you're aggressive and you believe in yourselves, anything is happening. Anything can happen. And uh, this is a team right now that it kind of makes you wonder, Josh, if this might just be a team of destiny this summer. Yeah, and that's why they've captured the imagination of so many basketball fans. And again, you mentioned the 10 threes, but it's seven different guys who have knocked down threes to add to that total. So, you know, they're, everyone is basically stepping up. There's so much riding on this game in this moment that you don't expect them to kind of let it slip away. It just so happens that they're playing one of the most dominant teams in Eurobasket history in Spain and obviously knows what to do, knows what it takes to win. I mean, we're in for an amazing 20 minutes. It's fascinating as you look at Kokoskov there. He's got Doncic, who's stepping in front of him, and he's got Dragic. It's, uh, it, you know, it's the only time, really, that this is going to happen, that these two guys are together. One guy's just coming in, the other one's going out, but they just happen to meet each other right before that happens, right before Doncic uh, kind of takes over the national team, and it's just kind of a special special situation yeah. that, you know Dragic said they're the room they're rooming together yeah that was actually you know I expected maybe Dragic okay you're the superstar player you have your own little VIP penthouse suite but no he clearly wanted to make beat Doncic's mentor and the fact you know he alluded to I think he tweeted about this that Doncic watches cartoons still because he's still 18 years old we haven't really mentioned that here tonight he's 18 years old just turned 18 in February so he's uh, he's a young 18 and he's doing what he's doing and again tonight maybe he's a not a, yes it is a phenomenon yeah he's uh, all those things a wonder can yeah I mean he's I mean, he's fascinating well you he, know you have to be a I mean this is where you know if you're like for example if you're an NBA team and you pass on a guy like this so you have the first or second pick third pick and you pass on him you wonder don't you well, the reason, he's doing uh, it against the big boys here. Exactly. And the reason the NBA execs are pretty much salivating at his play, for example, the other night, you know, he went at Kristaps Porzingis any opportunity he had. No one else has done that in the tournament where they actually penetrate against him. He backed him down for a little post jump hook at one point. And again, he's a guard that plays big yet can also distribute. I mean, it's a lot of people are saying already he's one of the most intriguing, uh, intriguing international prospects of all time. Obviously, he's too much hype, but. Second half action underway here in Istanbul, the Sinan Erdem Arena. And Spain have possession, trailing by four against Slovenia. The semifinal, the first semifinal. Russia will take on Serbia tomorrow. Sastre over to Gasol on the baseline, and the shot clock winding down. Dragic now has it. Up quickly to Blazic, who goes in and puts it up off the glass. Picture perfect fast break for Slovenia. The quick outlet from Dragic. Rubio open. And good fight for the rebound. And again, here Dragic open. They released early is Blazic. And that's two consecutive fast break baskets. Perfect start for Slovenia to the second half. Rajic, pretty much on his own. You see the energy already in the Slovenians. Gasol for three and Dragic and the first five minutes of the second half, you have to wonder. It's always supposed to be that most important part of the game, isn't it? Especially when you're trailing. And Dragic comes out and misses his three. Can't pick up another foul there on a rebound. You saw Spain making the adjustment, putting Sastre in for Navarro. Gasol open for three. Front back of the rim comes out. And 
job to drag it. Vidmar maybe got away with a push on Sastre and uh, Gasol rejects. I think it was Vidmar. And Santa Materia over to Sastre. Slovenia a little bit confused here on defense. Able to rotate back over. Rubio drives in. Back to Marc Gasol. Gets in. Charge on Marc Gasol. Over to shoulder. All the momentum going wow. to Slovenia right now. Three fouls on Marc Gasol. Yeah, definitely no question there. Vidmar had his feet set, took his shoulder right in the chest. They believe. Pal Gasol has no fouls, but his brother has the three. I just wonder if we might see Willie Erna Gomez come in shortly. Doncic quickly over to Blazic for three. And well, this place would have erupted if that had gone in. We've seen that a few times now. Doncic kicking to the opposite corner. Sastre from the right corner. It's Spain, cold start to the second half. Dragic tries to put pressure on Spain and decides to pull it back out. Anthony Randolph, guarded by Gasol. Hands it off to Vidmar. And Scariolo has to call timeout. 6.38 remaining in the third quarter, and Slovenia have stressed a four-point lead to 10. Spain needing to regroup here, still scoreless in the third quarter. And also, you see Slovenia now doing all their damage in the paint so far. Three layups. Intentamos dar la pelota dentro desde arriba con cuernos. Vale? Desde arriba, alto bajo, con cuerno, dentro, sellando fuerte, yendo a la... Sí, la damos de poste bajo. Cortamos. Ellos, mira, vale, pero... Bueno. That's a stat you probably would have expected. Slovenia, more assist in Spain. As Spain comes in as the leading assist team in the tournament. And the terrific uh, drive from Randolph. Yeah, it might have get the assist of Marcus All, but Vidmar been able to avoid the block from Powell this time. See him using that left arm as a, almost a shield. Hey, at some point, we have to start talking about how good, of, how how really good of a coach Igor Prokoskov is. I mean, I'm sure that. Uh, all of these fans would give them the key to the city of Ljubljana right now. Or Selye or Maribor, wherever. Jesse Nietzsche. So He's, you've uh, been to Slovenia. That's, well, that's what I'm gathering. Yes. Now the reach and the foul on Blazic. Second foul on him. He's played so well, they're not going to take him out anytime soon, you would imagine. Propelic came in for him uh, pretty early. Haven't seen uh, Edo Muric yet for Slovenia. Rubio pulls up and hits the jump shot. So kind of the lane area was clogged. And eight points now. Look at that, three of three from inside the arc. Yeah, Rubio was one, the one who got them going in the first quarter with his shooting. Doncic passes over to Randolph again. Fernando Sanamaterio gets up on Randolph, but doesn't put him off the shot. And again, we have to also talk about how much Randolph has added to his game. He was just known as a high flyer shot blocker coming out of college. Didn't really have much success in the NBA. Made his way to Europe and basically has added a lot of European game to his arsenal. Here he is, Rubio. Well, saw Randolph decide to pass back. Triggers the break, and once again, Blazic. And the good hustle from 
Spain, from Santa Materia in particular, prevented the layup. So that's a missed opportunity for Slovenia. We haven't said that today. Yeah, three on one, you get no points, and then you and give up a three. That's a five-point swing. And Santa Materia made the play defensively, and then comes back and strokes the corner three. You see Doncic and Dragic getting off Rogers' case. Slovenia, high assist count. Now Vidmar going right at Casal, who has the three fouls. Yeah. Vidmar seemed to be camping out the lane for a couple of seconds there. Nine points, four rebounds for Vidmar. And charge called on Fernando Santa Materio. Vidmar, you mentioned it the other night, unsung hero. Up yet another offensive foul, sliding his feet. Again, Spain just not getting the 50 50 calls here tonight. Well, four and a half minutes to go in the third quarter, and right now it's all Slovenia. Can't emphasize enough how well Gaspar Vidmar played uh, this past season for Banvit. Turkey and the Basketball Champions League was really one of the standout performers, helped them get to the final of the Basketball Champions League. Of course, they won the Turkish Cup. Here he is set, setting the pick. Doncic drives in, draws the foul, and it's on Gasol. Or no, is it on? It is. That's four fouls on Marc Gasol. So the decision to leave Marc Gasol in, perhaps, no, they're going to change and give it to Sastre. Okay. Stayed okay. very, very, very fortunate. You see it here. Gasol sliding. I probably know it should have been on Gasol. So I guess he's a good salesman. Blazic made a huge impact on the game here at the start. He's gone out of the game. Now Propelic has come back in with Nikolic. So Doncic is uh, at the line. Dimitz is out on the court as well. Doncic, rare miss the free throw line. Just 18 years of old, eight, 18 years of age. Well, shooting 85%. What were you doing when you were 18? Watching cartoons at this time? I still watch cartoons. Got kids. There you go. He makes one of two. 10-point lead again. Slovenia just 2 of 5 in the free throw line. Spain 10 of 11. There is Ru uh, Rodriguez and Short. And now, I'll tell you what, if Doncic gets a triple-double in this game. Randolph, open, good! Three-pointer. Getting close. Seven assists, eight rebounds, nine points for Doncic. Randolph now with 10 points. Biggest lead of the game. And Pau Gasol scores from the baseline. Old reliable. Spain needs some other guys to step up, especially on the offensive end. You know, Slovenia have not lost at this Eurobasket. Nice dump to Dimitz from Pepelic. Slovenia pretty much getting anything they want on offense right now. What has happened to the Spanish defense? And Propelic reaches in, commits the foul. Three on him. Nice pass from Propelic. Over to Dimitri. Dragic loves it. Silly foul from Randolph. Helps up Rubio. So that's Randolph's first foul. It almost seems like Slovenia is saving Dragic for the fourth quarter. Hasn't played the heaviest minutes, just 18 so far. Doncic, as for comparison, has 24 minutes. So. On this 
facing up. And Nicholas reaches in, takes it away. Is he going to get off in time? No, he doesn't. Terrific defense once again from Slovenia. Slovenia making all the hustle plays. Every loose ball they're diving for. And worried looks on the face of, uh, of the faces of the Spanish coaching staff, of the fans, of the players now. See Sedimentario felt the contact. Nikolic kind of dove a little bit. Didn't get the call. So San Amaterio and Pau Gasol go out. Mark Gasol back in with the three fouls. And William Gomez comes back in. Wancho's in. There they are. Well, like we mentioned, glad they've shown up. Better late than never, right? Well, almost as if they knew that their team would be here. Definitely a great energy in the arena here tonight. Doncic to Demetz, and he's fouled, and they're going to count it. And it's getting worse before it gets better for Spain. They are not just beating him. They're beating him like a drum. Well, it's going to take an epic comeback for Spain to get back into this one. Not playing defense the way they've been playing it throughout the tournament. Look at the emotion, the confidence. Again, Spain comes in averaging just 61 points, points allowed per game. Slovenia with 67 already. We still got 12 minutes to play. Slovenia also shooting 56% from the field. I mean, look at that, 20 assists, 5 turnovers. 10 assists for Spain, 9 turnovers. Well, that's the thing. In order to beat a team like Spain, you have to play pretty much a perfect game. And Slovenia's done essentially that so far. Hey, I'm going to shoot them all. I'm going to put them all. Uh, Peju. Peju is the first one. Be ready for next one. Uh, go in the X4. I'm X4. Peju. But can they play with the lead? That becomes the next question. They've obviously gotten to this point, playing very fast pace, constantly attack mode. Remember, this was a Slovenia team that had to qualify for the FIBA Euro basket. I mean, Spain, meanwhile, were playing at the Rio de Janeiro games, and they got an Olympic bronze medal. Yeah, it's I mean, amazing how quickly things can change. Look at the last Euro basket, Slovenia finished 12th. Spain obviously winning it, so just two years. Program really grown. I think the last time they met was in 2013. Rodriguez goes out, misses. So it's a 16 point lead right now for Slovenia. After Belich tries to make the bounce pass. The kick, so they'll have 14 on the shot clock. Talk about destiny, it's almost as if Doncic has to get a triple double. How many 18 year olds have done that in the Eurobasket semifinal? Doncic has the pass. Blocked, gets it back. Bounce pass again to Demetz, goes up, and Juliana Gomez gets it. That was better. Almost a turnover, though. Gasol puts up a three. It's good. The last time they played in 2013, although Powell didn't play, they played in the group phase, and Slovenia did win it. That was a game played in Slovenia in Selje. Yeah, Marcus Saul was the guy who led that furious comeback against Germany. Can he do it again? Well, they find Randolph open, but didn't look like he was quite set. He's going to put it up anyway. It's good. <laughs> Anthony Randolph. He says, you can't stop this. And again, 
three threes now for Randolph. And Rodriguez now short on his jumpers. Pellets for three. And only white shirts there for the rebound, and Wancho and Gomez not able to collect it. It has been a nightmare third quarter for Spain. I'll tell you what, that might have been a two. No him on the line. Still kind of in a three, though. Well, it certainly didn't get any easier with Dragic on the bench. And now that he's uh, back, refreshed, he's going to turn it up a little bit. And Watcher and Gomez call for the foul. See him close by one brother. I had the move to go around the other. He certainly was reaching, had, you know, had his hand on him. So Doncic goes to the line. Just uh, the state of affairs really that perhaps no one envisioned. Slovenia winning, possibly yes. Slovenia, but, Slovenia but, dominating? But dominating? Yeah. Did anybody anticipate this? This feels like for Slovenia about 16 years of frustration they're taking out on Spain. It's something else. So Propellers goes out. And Blasic is back in. And the foul on Dimets. 18-point deficit. Gasol with 10.7 rebounds. Now, Dimitz, uh, that's only his second foul. So another one will put Spain on the line. And Rodriguez gets down the lane, puts up the layup. Question is, can Spain stop him? at this end. And Doncic uh, has it for the last shot, presumably. It's the high pick. And he's going to have to take on Juancho Ernagoma. A little bit too much time there. And he waits. Uh, don't put that past him. And Willie Ernagoma was uh, not going to have Gordon Dragic. <laughs> Putting up a last second shot. Slovenia stretched their lead, 73-57, moving closer to their first ever final out of FIBA Eurobasket. Mm So they had a couple more threes fall Slovenia, but really the, the story was the, the great start that they had. Uh, the, the quick fast breaks by Blazic just kind of served as a launch pad for a great first, for a great third quarter. Yeah, it set the tone for that quarter. Slovenia basically saying, we're not going away. We're going to keep the pressure coming. And, and a lot more action going towards the basket in that quarter. But obviously, I feel like if you have a 16-point lead against any other team in Europe, you're feeling pretty good. Against Spain, you just know it's not big enough. They can still come back, and they have enough time, obviously 10 minutes. And with the experience that they have, you know, the belief in that huddle that they can still win this game. They've got to do it on the defensive end, that's for sure. Got to get stops and rebounds. And uh, Slovenia have done a good job, though, passing the ball around. And when you've got such a great number of players hitting threes, Randolph, a perfect three of three. Dragic, two of three. 
Alexei Nikolic hit his only three. Uh, Propelic, two of three from three. Blazic has a three on one attempt. One of two for Zagadas. And also two of six from three-point range is Luka Doncic. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, if they spread the court and pass it as well as they have, they're getting open looks. Spain in a zone defense to start here. Propelic is not going to mess around. He's going to take one and be the zone buster. I mean, he was a good two meters behind the arc. I'll tell you what, if there's one team, you got to be careful with the zone. It's this one. So many shooters. Gasol, he puts one up. And a good rebound from Sastre, but he is... A uh, block from behind. Bajic has really played a great game. Gets the block on the putback. Quick pass to Marcus Saul. That's number three on Demets. Again, Marcus Saul just never stops working. And Gasol saying there's, he's not playing the ball, but I don't think he's going to get the benefit of that one. He's looking for another point for light. Shot clock winding down. Rubio goes in. And once again, Propelic not able to uh, get the rebound. Not able to stay inbounds. So all Spain scoring a nice inbounds play in that first half. And they create an easy look here. You see Propelic look for the rebound. Saw kind of lucky not to get called for that foul. It wasn't much. Inbound to Marcus Saul. Over to Watcher and Gomez. And he's fouled shooting the three by Goran Dragic. And then Gomez. Kind of shouted as Dragic contested it. Let's see if he caught him on the elbow here. Yeah, yeah he got him left elbow. elbow. Raised him on the left elbow. Look at the uh, spider cam angle. the second. You almost feel like Spain need to play uh, near-perfect basketball to have a chance. Again, time is their worst enemy right now. Got to put together a string of stops. They only have one timeout left. Slovenia with all three. Will they stay in the zone? That's the question. They're like, if Propelic crosses midcourt, you got to get on him because he will shoot it. And he will score. Foul, and now Marcus All picks up number four. So look at this. Yeah, incidental contact, really. Yeah, that's still contact to the face. I mean, and it wasn't like Blodgett was looking for it necessarily. Or was he? So Powell has to come back in. Not a bad replacement. Propelic and intercepted by Sastre. Gets it to Rubio. And he goes up and scores with the left hand. And Kokosko wants to nip it in the bud right now. He calls timeout. Rubio goes to 10 points. And Spain cut the deficit back to 76-62. And I'm guessing you might see a, a player change or two. Uh, when Slovenia reemerge, well, we, like you said, we haven't seen Merge yet. And Chanchar, two guys who are usually in the rotation, not playing much or at all this game. The other guys getting a chance, and they've done pretty well. Guys like Zagorets, 
in a chain, Kogi can only pass. Dodges give you seven points. You see there, Spain 13 or 14 at the line, so that's helping uh, give them a chance, obviously. But goodness me, how do you offset a 13 of 29 from three point range from Slovenia? Yeah, and you feel like Slovenia is just about two more threes away from Prentice one in the books. They're not going to come easy. Nothing's going to come easy the rest of the way, you'd imagine. Spanish defense is locked in. Defense into half minutes. Nice steal there by Sastre. Almost an end one. In the left hand of Vlajic. Doncic back in the game. So Randolph still out. Dragic still in the zone. Dragic finds his way in. Goes back in. And what oh, a look at that. Pass. Unbelievable. Just knew exactly where everyone was. Draws the help defense. Wow. Blind. That is what you call a run stopper. Uh, Vidmar picks up foul number four. Number four oh, you're not tempted to just go ahead and let Gasol have that rather than pick up the fourth foul. Yeah, it's a tough one. Dimitri also in foul trouble. Anthony Randolph on the bench as well, so we can only bring Randolph back in. Rubio pulls up for the short jumper. And Propelic with the board. Here comes more double high action. Spain still in his zone. They almost have to be because they've just been ripped to shreds in the man, but they leave open Zagratz. They are not exactly flying over to the corner to get that rebound. Dragic on Rodriguez. Now back to Rubio. He and a charge on Rubio. And Propelic was able to slide into position just in time. Again, Slovenia's defense. You have to highlight it. Propelic seemed like he was beat. He was able to slide back to position. Once again, the shoulder and the chest. Fundamentally sound defense. Of course, so Rubio disagrees. Well, the thing is that Slovenia's gotten that call every single time tonight. And usually referees will kind of, you know, even it out. But if you go by the letter of the law, well, it's about. Another interception for Spain. Now into Sastre. Back out to Juancho Ener Gomez. Into Pau. Nobody on the boards for Spain. Dragic, whirling Dervish at the line. Follows up his own miss, goes up and scores. Goodness me, Superman. What a play by Dragic. And again, fourth quarter time, he knew he was going to step up. Rubio passes the layup. Passes up the layup for the three, and then Sashley doesn't take it. Maybe it's a double team here. And Rubio is going to take a three himself. Doncic, another rebound. Pitching ever closer to that triple-double. Spain's hopes fading. I think Rubio should have taken the layup, don't you? Well, it's easy to say now. Rodriguez picks up his second foul. See Dragic here. Just knew exactly where it was going to land amongst the trees. Look at the emotion yeah. from Doncic. Every big basket, Slovenia just celebrates. And again, you know they want it. And wow. Dragic banks in the three. Everything's going right. Spain, Spain needs to time out. How much to Spain, for example? Look at Dragic. He says, let's live in the moment, folks. 
Let's enjoy this. Goodness knows we've waited so long to get to the final. We're getting so close. You know that, you know, we haven't spoken about it, but Spain missed that spark that they used to get from the likes of Rudy Fernandez. I mean, he's not here now. Yeah, but they have so many other guys that usually could be able to step up. But it, but it is the first time we see Juan Jordan and Gomez in a major. First time since 2004 that Rudy hasn't played in the national team. Obviously with his back problems. No Felipe Reyes right now. Yeah, Nikola Miritic was obviously at the Euro Basket 2015. Yeah, Miritic, Serge Ibaka. Would have made a huge difference. Another guy, but again, to say that Spain's lacking talent is just not factual. No, but I mean, I think from a, I think from a, you know, Fernandez is the type of player that right. could really come in and spark a team. I don't know if any team could be Slovenia the way they're playing here tonight. Yeah, they are just, you know, you got to remember they're unbeaten. They're unbeaten at this Eurobasket. 14 from 22, 14 from 22 from the three-point line. 22 assists on 32 field goals, only seven turnovers. And they're outscoring Spain in the paint. I mean, right now it looks like there's no way back for Spain. Again, time ticking. Both Gasol's in there now, so Mark goes back in with the four fouls. Powell going up against Zagadats, gets in, misses. Ten rebounds for Doncic. And the reach and the foul on Rodriguez. And both Mark Gasol and Powell Gasol are just both chirping at the referees. Uh, about not getting any fouls called when they go up at the other end. Now Randolph comes back into the game for Zagadats. Again, Spain was doing the same thing the other night against Germany. Slovenia maybe saw something they could exploit. Dragic pulls up and doesn't get it because uh, doesn't want to get called for travel. So Doncic puts it up. This is badly. Well, Spain were thinking about a comeback. Now would be a good time, and Dragic uh, fouls Rubio. Dragic is going to come out. Nikolic replaces him. So Dragic goes out having just uh, been terrific. Especially that spin move and uh, the one that he finished with the pass. He's talking to Jakalakovic, the former uh, captain of Slovenia. Now an assistant coach. Dragic has 13 points, six rebounds, five assists. Santa Materia back in for Spain. They just look fresher. They look faster. Uh, do Slovenia. And they're hitting the shots. I mean, they're just playing well. And Randolph uh, commits the foul as uh, Marcus all gets it down low. And Randolph, you're not going to kind of rip the ball out of Marcus all's hands. Kind of silly foul there to put him on the line. Making up to burn it. I can't remember Spain coming back from a, a big deficit like this. They usually get on top of people and they put them away. And it's a different situation for them. the ball to be in Doncic's hands a lot. Another turnover. That's right. Rodriguez now. He's got Gasol on the break. Gives it back to Rubio. 
And Fernando Sanimaterio puts up a three. Hits it! And now it's 83-67, back to a 16-point deficit. See the ball fresh from Spain. Four and a half minutes to go. And that will put uh, Nikolic on the line. So Spain and Slovenia now in the bonus. Nikolic hasn't missed a free throw yet in the tournament. Obviously hasn't gotten there much, but nonetheless. Well, I think coming into the tournament, you would have described this as a, as a big upset, possibly even a colossal upset. But the way the tournament has been played and the way Slovenia were able to come out of Helsinki unbeaten and, uh, and also the way they were able to win uh, just a tremendous game against Latvia, I mean, still might call it an upset. But I think, you know, Spain have not had, they've not looked like themselves, really, have they, since they've come here to Istanbul. And almost a turnover. San Mateo puts up another three attempt. And, and a foul called on Pau Gasol. He's going to say, asking for an explanation. Yeah, you're right. I mean, Slovenia, obviously unbeaten. You know, had a couple of close wins. Beat Finland by three, Greece by six, but they were dominant against France, beating them by 17. And then Latvia was another team that a lot of people had as a chance for uh, contending at the, po at the podium. They had won what was an instant classic the other night against them. So it's no surprise they're in a position to get to the final. Vidmar. Not even down. Vidmar struggling at the line. He goes and makes it, yep. So Slovenia, 12th at Eurobasket 2015, 5th in 2013, 7th in 2011. 4th, and they got to the semis in 2009. 7th at the Eurobasket in 2007. I mean, they, you know, they are about to get to, the, to their first final in their history. And Pagasol has it taken away by Vidmar. Doncic loving that. Is there anyone else you'd rather have the ball than Dragic in these situations? Take off. Randolph lays it up and in. One point lead now. That's all scores. Asking for the foul wasn't given. And just uh stare down the referee. This is where when you have a guard of the caliber of Warren Dragic, it's awfully difficult. He's able to take time off the clock. Let's miss the shot. Fernando San Mateo back to Marcus Saul. And pretty much uh, symbolizes what's happened tonight for Spain. Goes all the way around the rim and stays out. Dragic for three. Rodriguez. 27 remaining. It's a back wide open for three. And Marcus Gasol misses the tap. And we just, you know, when we came over to the C9 Airdom Dome the other night before the round of 16, and we watched Spain practice, they were having a good time. They just looked loose. They looked like they knew they were the best. Right. Yeah, I mean, honestly, it looked like they felt you know, they could just walk in here and walk away with the gold medal, but. 24 points in the second half of the semifinal. It's not, not going to get it done.
for Slovenia. Well, if last night wasn't the most famous, famous moment in their history, that incredible win over Latvia, this one certainly is. They are knocking off a legendary team, really, in international basketball. Okay, it's a team that maybe doesn't have Rudy Fernandez and Felipe Reyes and Nikola Mirotic, but it is a team, as you said, that is loaded with stars. And Slovenia have come out here focused, uh, determined, looking like a team of destiny. And, you know, they haven't even gotten a great game, really, tonight for Luka Doncic by his lofty standards. Well, he does have 12 rebounds to go with his 11 points. Eight assists. And eight assists. But, but yeah, we're used to seeing him shots. pouring in a lot more yeah, points. He's missed shots. But, that's, I'll give but yeah, he's almost on his triple double, so that sounds ridiculous. That's just how high the bar is set for Luka Doncic. Here he is right now. Zagorac for three. And Rubio throws the ball at the feet of San Antonio. So Spain are going to have to settle for a spot in the third place game. They'll come out and take on the loser of Russia's semifinal tomorrow against Serbia. Whereas Gordon Dragic, that man, you have to say, in this country, deserves it. They have had a lot of great teams that haven't been able to win the big game before and they are winning it tonight they won it against Latvia they've uh, remained unbeaten tonight the, the pain of Eurobasket 2007 in Madrid when it looked like they were going to the semifinals and collapsed against Greece they almost reached the final of uh, Eurobasket 2009 but lost that game. And then they lost the third place game. And now here they are, they, you know, they're on home turf in 2013 and had to finish, had to settle for fifth. And here they are in the, the final summer of national team basketball for Goran Dragic and the first of national team basketball for Luka Doncic as well as Anthony Randolph. And uh, it's just been an amazing, Amazing accomplishment for this team from Slovenia. Look at him. You think they're going to get any sleep tonight? The ball goes up into the crowd. And it's congratulations all the way around. 92-72. Slovenia, their famous, their most famous win, really, in the history of their country, getting to the final of the Eurobasket. Yeah, an incredible game for Slovenia. You see Dragic and Gasol hugging it out. Two legends in their respective countries. So the game in general. Great sportsman. I mean, you cannot be, you can only be happy for, for Dragic. You, it's almost as if, look at Powell. He's such a great guy, great sportsman. You want him to win all the time, but you can only be happy for Dragic because equally, just a tremendous person, a tremendous athlete. And he was overdue. Definitely. And again, it's just the way that Slovenia's done it. Just no questions. But they were the better team here tonight and pretty much in the tournament. And I tell you what, they're one game away from really making history. It's a hungry team. They are hungry. And so it's they, they expect to be here. You know, whether they play Russia, whether they play Serbia, it's going to take uh, a real effort uh, to beat this team. See the Slovenian players lining up to take a bow as their fans have been absolutely great here tonight. Dragic, Doncic. All over the stats tonight, Powell and Marcus saw as well, as is the custom. Um, I think we have to say something about Propelic as well. I mean, he really came out and made big plays off the bench. Hit some big shots, made some plays 
uh, on defense. Yeah, I mean, he really is so, he's so good at shooting that any shot he takes is going in. Uh, probably the best shoot on the floor here tonight. Again, that one three against the zone really kind of seemed like a dagger. Slovenia's a great sporting nation, isn't it? Yeah, especially here in Istanbul. So finally the basketball team uh, jumps in the spotlight uh, for all the right reasons. And uh, the great news is that we'll get to see him again. And, and, and the biggest game of all, the biggest game in their history, if, as if they didn't already play a couple of big games. I mean, they've been huge. And can they, you know, ride this this win to a title, do you think? I mean, is this – because if they come up against a Serbia, you you would – ordinarily you would think Serbia would be the favorites, even a, not a, a team that's not at full strength. Uh, if they come up against a Russia, yeah, it's going to be a very balanced – Final. Definitely, I mean, but the fact that they've beaten Spain in such a dominant fashion, it's, it's hard for anyone to not pick them as their favorites right now. And again, they have superstars. One current and one, I would say, in the making, but he's pretty much already there. Luka Doncic. Yeah, it really does go back to I me. Mean, my point is saying Doncic wasn't quite as influential tonight from a scoring standpoint. He has 11 points. Yeah, but so much rebounds. Balance. In, but then 11 points, the 12 rebounds, the eight assists. So, yeah. And what is next for Spain? Well, they've got one more game coming up. And uh, obviously they'll be going into the FIFA Basketball World Cup European qualifiers, as will, as will this team. So a lot of questions. Gaspar Vidmar, I mean, he's been tremendous. Yeah, he's been utterly points. tremendous for this uh, Slovenia team. Again, Slovenia made all the hustle plays, all the little plays, not just the big threes, not just the dunk.